Brigitte is Overwatch's latest support hero, but she can be a difficult character to master and even just to play effectively. So to help you get started and potentially dominate the opposition, we've got a full breakdown with a plethora of handy tips and tricks peppered throughout. Let's start with her role in a team. Brigida is a very unique support who's pretty much designed to make your other opponents or squishy teammates a lot harder to kill and reward teams for working closely together. She doesn't pump out that much healing, it's roughly equal to Lucio's basic healing aura, but she makes up for this with a mixture of defensive capabilities, great 1v1 dueling, and most importantly, providing her allies with lots of armor. Armor is a big part of her kit. She will provide thousands of points of armor during a match, and in case you're unaware, armor works differently to regular health. It has a damage reduction effect that will block five damage from every hit that deals over 10 damage. Any hits that deal under 10 damage will be reduced by half. So, for a great example, a direct hit from a Pharah rocket will do 115 damage to armor rather than 120, which isn't huge, but attacks that are made up of lots of small hits like Tracer's pistols or Winston's Tesla cannon will be reduced in damage by 50%. That's massive. But this is only part of why she can be such a scary support to fight against. So let's take a look at her kit to see how she works and how it all combines together. Her primary fire swings a flail in an arc, similar to Reinhardt, but a lot narrower and faster. It currently hits for 35 damage, which will penetrate barriers and can hit multiple targets at once. Whenever you hit an enemy, you'll trigger her healing passive ability, Inspire, which recovers 80 health over 5 seconds for yourself and nearby allies in quite a large radius. One thing to note though is that additional hits will not stack the healing. However, new hits will reset the 5 second duration. You can also activate this passive healing with Whip Shot. This skill will deal 70 damage and cause a knockback. For reference, it has the same range as Roadhog's Hook. However, unlike the Hook, it won't interrupt enemies who are channeling abilities. It's also important to note it will not pierce barriers like a primary fire. It also has some interesting interactions with Winston's Leap. Next up, she has a 600 health barrier that works similar to Reinhardt's, but can be deployed quicker and doesn't slow her movement speed down that much. While her barrier is up, she's unable to attack, but she does enable herself to use Shield Bash. This skill charges her forward up to 7 meters and if you make contact with an enemy, it will stun them and deal 50 damage. If you want to instantly cast this skill without having your shield up, you can press both mouse buttons at the same time. This can often catch targets off guard who won't be expecting it. This is one of her most powerful abilities as it's an effective interrupt and sets her up for a powerful combo that can deal enough damage to kill a tracer instantly. You might want to keep your distance. This works by first hitting them with Shield Bash for the stun and 50 damage, then instantly use a primary attack for a further 35 damage. As soon as the flail makes impact, you can activate Whip Shot, which will cancel the rest of the flail animation and hit for another 70 damage, giving a total of 155 oh all God. dealt incredibly quickly. Of course, this combo can be used on anyone, but if they have more than 155 health, you will knock them back outside of your range with with the final hit, so you'll be reliant on an ally to assist on the kill. Shield Bash is also a very quick movement ability that can save you from being knocked off the maps, and with its short cooldown, you'll often find it's available when you need it. Her final ability is Repair Pack. Aiming this skill works a lot like Zenyatta's orbs, and it will burst heal a target for 150 health on a 6 second cooldown. It's also able to overheal, which will provide up to 75 armor for 5 seconds. This is huge for being able to save a weak ally like another support. You can quickly heal them before engaging whoever is attacking them with your shield bash combo. Its long range also means you can throw it out to save the lives of anyone else on your team or give them an edge if they're taking a 1v1 fight. Lastly, we have her ultimate, Rally. 
It lasts for 10 seconds, and during that time, her movement speed is slightly boosted and she will apply 15 armor to herself and nearby allies every half a second. It will reach a maximum cap at 150 armor. The armor will not go away until it is removed by damage, meaning this can be a very effective way to buff your entire team's health pools, and it can even be combined with other things like Torbjorn's armor packs. This could give your team up to 225 armor each on top of their normal health pool. So, for example, you can have a tracer running around with 375 hit points total. To be honest, if you really wanted to push it, you could add in a Symmetra whose shield generator would then boost the additional hit points to 300, putting a tracer at 450 health. But outside of gimmicks like that, Brigitte still has a lot of other applications. She's not a must-pick hero by any means, and she will struggle working with certain heroes and on certain maps. In particular, when your team is all spread out, she's unable to provide effective healing, but in close quarter maps with a grouped up team, she can be very effective. In these situations, you'll find she charges her ultimate very quickly and is able to use it quite freely, but it works drastically different to other support alts. For example, it can't turn around a fight like Zenyatta's or Lucio's, it won't counter a Dragon Blade or save someone who's about to die. Instead, it's designed to be used proactively before a fight or just as the engagement starts. So, for example, a few seconds before pushing a choke point, you can activate Rally to give your team an extra 150 armor each, then use the remaining time to start the fight. This gives your team a substantial edge to try and get an early kill or two and turn the fight in your favor. The biggest threat against Brigitte in general is long ranged poke damage, as she can't really out heal it and she can't fight back unfortunately. Heroes like Farah are very hard for Brigitte to deal with, she can't efficiently hit them and without a self heal she will struggle to defend herself and will have to rely on another supports and her team to counter them. Heroes who deal in single large damage shots like Farah, Junkrat and Widowmaker are also impacted less by Brigitte's armor buffs. Another thing to note is the ult economy. Destroying armor gives ultimate charge, but giving armor does not. This means by playing a long range battle, players fighting against a team using a lot of armor are able to generate ultimates without charging the enemy's support alts. It's not necessarily a huge deal for most players, but it's worth being aware of as this might have an impact at the higher levels. So when should you play Brigada then? She's best in close quarters, so try to play her on maps where her limited range is less of an issue. This will just make your life a whole lot easier. You're also going to need a team that works well around her. Someone like Reinhardt or Orissa to hold the front line makes life a lot easier. A second or probably even a third support who can provide sustained healing is also a must. Right now, it's pretty common to see a Brigitte taking the position of a DPS rather than leaving the team for short on healing. She works well with things like Triple Tank, where the close grouping of teams make it easy for her to get lots of healing done. Any sort of death ball team composition should work well for her. Having a sniper or flanker isn't a major problem as you have the long ranged burst heal, but if you're stuck in one of those quick play games with two snipers, two flankers and no other support, you're going to have a pretty horrible experience trying to keep them all alive. She's still settling into the game and her role and ideal team compositions will almost certainly shift as time goes on, but we'll take another look at a more in-depth guide in the future. Do you have any tips or tricks for Overwatch's newest hero to share? Let me know in the comments below. We've got more content for Brigitte on the way, so keep an eye out for that. But for now, this is Dash for Curse saying thanks for watching and enjoy the game.